I'm back. Hey yo everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm back and I was actually away for a little bit because I went to Tokyo Comic Con. As you can see, I was dressed up as Winter Soldier and it was pretty crazy because my friends and I, we went up on stage and we won the cosplay award. And not only that, we were chosen to give birthday cakes to the actors on stage during the closing ceremony. So that was pretty cool. To anybody who might have been there or whatnot, thank you so much for having me but anyways as you can see we have some comic books here today because it doesn't take a detective to figure out that my dinner tonight is some black angus beef but also that i popped into some comic book shops while i was in tokyo we got some spawn here some good old spawn pretty much the only thing i buy nowadays Come to take you to hell. American comic book shops are pretty niche here in Japan. Not to mention they seem to be dying out in America. But here are three that are alive and well. First up, in Jimbocho at Wonder. Now this isn't just a comic book shop, there's actually a big bookstore with a great selection of American comic books. And what makes this the best of the bunch is it's loaded with the classics. They got the classics in spades. Get it? Spades? Gambit? Next up in Ikebukuro Verse Comics. This is pretty much my go-to store when it comes to picking up new issues of Spawn, Kane Spawn, Gunslainer, Scorched, and all of the Spawn universe. But they got some other new comics as well and a nice selection to choose from. And they even have a point card. So hey, that's always nice. If you happen to be looking for newer comics, then this is the place that I recommend. Be careful on their stairs though, they are pretty steep. And lastly, we have Blister Comics in Akihabara. Now this is right down the street from Akihabara Station and this store has a massive selection of newer books. Now the prices seem to be a little more steep than Verse, but whatever you can't find there, you might be able to find here. So it's worth stopping by if you're in the Akihabara area. you to stay out of the alleys, Tony. Your business there is done, understand? Whatever wild hair you had up your ass about that place is officially plucked. Pickup time. We got Gunslainer. Looking all cool. So I'm trying to get all of the cane spawn. We got issue 16 here. This one's pretty cool. We got another issue 16. We got more Gunslainer spawn looking badass up on his horse. Then we got uh, issue five, an issue I was missing. What else do we got? We got issue nine, also sick. We got issue 15, sick as shit. We got the Agony Axe, looking all cool. You might be familiar with it because it's been in many a video game. But also we got Violator with a cool silhouetted spawn in the foreground. Badass, more Gunslainer. This is a pretty damn cool one too. Big ass sun in the background, the trail of blood sitting on a big pile of bodies. It reeks of awesomeness. And we got Scorched, 
the team up comic with Gunslinger, Medieval Spawn, and we got, of course, She Spawn. Pretty cool stuff. But also, I picked up, uh, as you can see, my Servbot friend here. He has a nice little manga. So, this was interesting. Not every day do you see an X Men or a Marvel anything really in manga form. So, this is actually based on the animated series, but in a Japanese manga. I guess I don't need to say Japanese before manga, but you get my drift. Pretty interesting. So, I just went ahead and picked one of these up, and one with Rogue, Gambit, and good old Wolvie on the cover. Doesn't get better than that, right? So anyways, thanks for watching, and if you were wondering about the Metal Heroes, it's coming up on Monday, and we'll have the other episode up next week as well, along with a Mega Man game review, so look forward to that. And the week after that, we have some more Mega Man content. So anyways, until next time, this is Denden Den, signing off. If I see one of your brain-dead thugs so much as spit in the direction of those alleys, I'm gonna come back and pay you a little visit, Tony. And believe me, it won't be as pleasant as the visit I paid your hired cyborg. So here's how it goes. As of now, you work for me.